in, in this vlog I'd show you uh, our van basically our van's a Benema, um 481 Tesoro uh, it's just a touch under six meters long it's got four seat belts uh, and it'll sleep four as well it's got um, a bed situated where I'm sat here as a table and you can make a double bed there which I'll show you and also it's got uh, which is my favorite a bed that comes from the ceiling and uh, lowers itself down electrically um, that's really comfortable because I'm gonna start with lighting um, I'm gonna cover the uh, the windows which um, which I'll do now the windows are so big um, forget what's in the background uh, these things here I'll explain all that in a bit um, look at the size of that window in the kitchen and uh, there you go that's a uh, that's uh, a view outside obviously this window normally gets a better view than that uh, but uh, yeah so that window's huge um, the other window that we've got uh, above us uh, to light the, uh, the the living quarters uh, that's bringing a bit of light in that's uh, obviously an extractor fan uh, and as the word says it gets air out and by the same token you reverse it and get the fresh air in and I believe in that area you can you, this area here you can uh, you can buy them air conditioning units that get fitted in there uh, a couple of thousand pounds I think they are uh, if that suits you uh, we, we'll, we'll uh, we're gonna uh, when we go abroad in this we'll give that a, a test run and if we fancy it and we got the money spare we might uh, might invest in one but so there's another area where light comes in and another one you can just see there to the to the, to the that's in front of the uh, the extractor fan there is a really large skylight and um, uh, and when you lift the bar up and and uh, open it up it's got a huge area where uh, air can escape and or flow through and obviously that lets a lot of lighting I've got no lights on in the van at the moment and like I say please excuse anything you see in the background but there you go there's another window uh, all these windows which I'll demonstrate in a minute I've got uh, block out blinds and also uh, fly, fly screens uh, which are fab uh, down the front of the cab obviously side and uh, passenger door and front window again letting a lot of light in and we've also got another window just there which also lets a lot of light in and then obviously above the cab We've got that huge skylight there. This opens as well, and once again, it's got the uh, the screens, uh, the fly screens. Uh, these have just got the block out blinds. Um, if you uh, if you're in a, in a hot country, then you wouldn't need the silver screen on the outside. You would use these interior blinds to uh, block the light, so it give you uh, privacy. Um, and up, every window has got these on. Uh, so there's the. the the, the uh, there you go oh, there's your fly screen and uh, obviously if you want to block it out there's your block out uh, every window's got these on um, which I think is fantastic even the uh, uh, the, the uh, door there has got uh, a block out blind on it uh, this door when it's uh, when it's open has got a fly screen which is just there and that slides ac slides across and uh, stops the flies coming in and that so um, that's why I say this this particular cab is very light. I've got no light on, no 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 uh, interior lights on at all. Got that one there, which is brought on all the lights above uh, the dining table there. You can see. Um, so that's that one. There's another one. Yeah. So that's another light there. You can see, see, see it's getting uh, very bright in here now. One here. Uh, so I'll turn them two off. Uh, turn these ones on which is a, a different set look so instead of the ones that uh, were uh, there you can see there's another set of lights inside that area which are really good and then another one that I really like and that's this one if it's sort of uh, a night a night light so if you're watching the box or having a drink inside and also it lights up the uh, the top of the cabinets there which is which is sweet i think it's really nice and there's a little switch here i don't know if it's an additional uh the, the additional uh, extra uh but it sort of lights up underneath the cupboards there and when you uh when you open this you get uh, obviously all, all these cupboards are illuminated uh which is fantastic you can see fantastic um by the same token our wardrobe 
has also got uh, an interior light there when you open it, uh, which is very useful. Uh, so we're, we're talking about light in the van at the moment on this uh, video. So coming into the uh, bathroom, that's got a skylight in look. And it's also got a very large uh, bathroom window just behind the sink there, which I think is fantastic. And then it's got interior lights in the, in the, in the uh, washroom here, which I think is beautiful. And that's in the shower there. The, uh, you've got your fly screen and uh, your block out blinds. I think it's absolutely fantastic, this, this little van, uh, when it comes to the light. So that's the light area. I've uh, covered the light switches and, um, and what lights we've got. So we'll move on to the next section. Right, the next section is uh, seating, basically. Um, you can see that uh, we've got the two cab seats down there, uh, which we are we obviously sit in when we're driving along, getting to our destination. They both spin round. Um, then you've got this bench seat here, just to the uh, to the left of the drawers you walk in. Um, you've got a huge dining table, uh, seats over there. So if you want, if you've got company on an evening or something, uh, you can get, well, you probably get, at a squeeze, you'd get three down there, another two over there, perhaps another one on the end here, and them two, so that's two, three, five, and say three there. So you probably get eight people around there. So that's the seating area in the uh, habitation area. Just to point the camera up, which I'm gonna show you uh, uh, shortly in this video, there's our uh, bed that we favor. That comes down, that's electrically operated by that switch there. Obviously, when you do that, that seat, that sorry, that table has to drop down in, in, the, in the middle of the seats. To, uh, uh, and you do have to remove the uh, backrests, whatever you want to call them. You have to move those to allow uh, this part of the bed here uh, to come down. Um, and then so you can climb into the bed. Uh, you, you can set this up as a bed, um, but we prefer uh, the one above the uh, living quarters there. Uh, because when we're away, we've already got the duvet and the pillars already set up there. And there's absolutely loads of uh, headspace, um, uh, which I'll demonstrate for you now. Hey guys, as you can see, plenty of headspace. I'm six foot tall and I, I've got loads of room there. Um, I'll bring you a bit closer and show you uh, like that, you know, that's great. Uh, I agree, but you can't you can't walk into that because you, you've got your uh, seats stopping you doing that. So there's loads of room, plentiful. So I'm really pleased with that. Uh, while I'm uh, there, I'll, go, I'll just tilt that and uh, I'll show you the operation of the table. Um, it's got a, a little button just underneath here, uh, which allows you to do this with it. And you can see slides when the, when the driver's seat's out of the way obviously when you, you turn you turn the seat round so that wouldn't be so close but you can see uh, this this table it's got quite a lot of uh, area uh, of movement there uh, and most of the time me and Karen because there's only the two of us we'll leave it in that space it allows a nice little walkway we can get through easy you see um, but yeah I love that and uh, that's electrically operated uh, by a button, uh, which is just here. So as I was saying, this, uh, this uh, table here, here is electrically operated um, uh, by this button just underneath this seat here. So you can see uh, that's down and that's up. Um, so you, you use them buttons to uh, lower it all the way down to enable you to uh, to bring the uh, the bed down. As I was saying to you, this bed, when it's made up with all its cushions and that, it goes up out the way, and then when we lower it, it's already made up, you see. Um, which suits us. Uh, so we don't have to make the bed. Uh, just hire, hire the bed out the way. Uh, and like I say, it's operated by uh, this button here. There you go. Um, beautiful, I like that. 
um, and like I say when it's made up uh, it's up out the way you haven't got to worry about it and your dining room returns to you when it's when the bed's in down in position uh, and it's kind of a uh, sort of around this level we use that particular uh, backrest there to go on top of the bed and our pillars go up against it so when in the morning we, we can uh, lean against uh, lean against that with our backs and have our cup of tea and our croissant and obviously in the summer you can uh, you can go outside under the awning uh, with the seats and uh, you, we put a big mat down and that and you live outside basically these vans that's what it's all about living outside it's not about living in the van but if you do have to because the weather's turned a bit ropey um, it's comfortable right now down to equipment you can see it's got a microwave and obviously this microwave uh, on, on, will only uh, work when it's uh, connected to electricity uh, the fridge is absolutely superb shoot got a huge huge uh, freezer area there look um, I think it's brilliant I do um, it's also got uh, obviously the proper fridge the full fridge there look it's got some bits and pieces at the bottom did some power power you got a, a 12 volt um, plug there and a a th uh, electric three pin there um while i'm while i'm showing you that i'll show you the it's got some bit the back of the uh, driver's seat as well some usbs and another three pin power uh which is pretty good uh have you noticed the net gear up there which is what we use for wi-fi that's that's plugged in at the moment so that's uh, charging that's brilliant i'll put this cupboard in um i like that and of course because it's got mirrored uh mirrored doors gives a, uh, a feeling of uh, more space uh, these things are, you've all you all know what they're for they're for collecting water when the van is stood and you can see it's uh, doing its job I spread them about the van put a couple in the shower room uh, keep the um, the moisture out of the air, out of the air. Uh, taps are open at the moment because I haven't commissioned the water at the moment so all the, all the taps are open just in case we get another freeze lovely sink in there look um, so we've got two gas burners and a, an electric hob. So if you're connected, you can use their power. You're paying for it, so you might as well use it. A full oven, full size oven as well there, look. Which we have used uh, to do a bit of garlic breading, which is good. Um, I'll bring that down now. Uh, extractor fan above the cooker, look. Um, you can see it, uh, nothing wrong with that. A light, which I like. I think that's great either with the drawers and these are all got safety catches in look just to open them up and obviously a cutlery drawer another one here which has got the, uh, the kettle and the toaster in so that comes out when we uh, when we're setting up a storage cupboard down the bottom here it's got some uh, cutting boards in and stuff uh, another 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 one here which has got some pans in on, underneath the uh, oven so uh and then obviously look at the space above so we've got pasta in that one at the moment this will have um some cornflakes or something like that haven't thought of a reason for that one yet um i did show you these cupboards earlier because i was showing you the lights but there's still loads of storage there uh another one there i've done uh this i brought some foam glass holders and put them in there um that's uh my ridge monkey and then again some glasses um sh some shot glasses there look and that's obviously the extractor fan going outside uh, i put that in a kitchen roll which is an extra I'll be, while i'm showing your extras i will uh, uh so i built in a, a, an area to above the cupboard to hold the uh, sugar and coffee and stuff you know uh, which is good these shelves come with it obviously they're, they're pretty good and these uh, these i'll put in there there's only a little lip there, but they, it holds these boxes in. And I'm going to put the, um, you know, your tins of soup and stuff and, and that in there, and put them, keep them up there, um, which should be fine. You've got another area. So you've got three shelves there. Look. Um, talking about the extras that uh, we brought, I think this is a. These things are um, Fiamma Fiamma pockets. You can buy them off eBay. Um, I brought three there. Look. I fitted them to that back of that door, and the reason I've done it, you can see I've got uh, storage, more storage, 
Uh, I've thought of a reason for the bottom one there. This is our wardrobe, look. Um, there's stuff at the bottom of it. And of course, when that door shuts, all it simply does is that just pushes against the clothes. It's not gonna hurt the clothes, but it gives us that extra space. I think it's a great idea. Um, shoot, the shoe rack, I built the, the interior. It didn't come with all of these shelves. I brought a bit of, um, a bit of timber and uh, a mid that just to hold our shoes. Uh, I mean, you don't need to take a lot of shoes, but there's quite, quite a few there already. Uh, you see there's a water watering can. That's access to the outside um, cupboard. There's a big uh, storage cupboard on the other side of that, and that's all been shelved out. And I'll show you that when I do the exterior of the van, uh, when I get around to doing that. So that's the, uh, the, shoe, the shoe cupboard. Again, coming into the uh, shower room, same pockets lot. Wasn't they wasn't there underneath the toilet roll up there? See, the toilet roll uh, holder was there, but these are fabulous. I mean, they're a bit expensive, but they're they're well made. And, and again, we've got now more storage. Uh, while we're in here, you got your your uh, your toothpaste holder and your your tough brushes and stuff there. And I suppose if you want some soap. Uh, <coughs> Put this on uh, the whole van needs a, a right good clean uh, i noticed over the winter it's got a bit dusty but look at these cupboards uh so we've got our own travel bags here look with all our bits and pieces in not used to shower yet but there is an extra in here and the reason this extra and it, i hope it's going to come in useful you see this is an extra and it's got a bendy head on there look so that 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 uh, moves in any position and the reason i brought that is because this one is fixed in that position you cannot move that at all so at the moment, it might catch me, uh, but Karen is going to go straight across the top of her head and she won't be able to tilt it down unless she manually pulls it off and holds it. And you know yourself, you need a couple of hours free to wash yourself. So we'll just whack it in there and uh, we can put that in any, any position we want. And back, to, uh, back to the equipment on the van. Again, these pockets, I brought some cheaper ones there that I keep uh, the out outdoor rain max in and uh, just next to the controls there. And then I used that, another one of those uh, for the side of the TV there. And in there is the uh, the Bose speaker, which is uh, connected to the back of the TV. So instead of having um, uh, just a TV sound, which is okay, uh, but I've got the Bose and it's connected to the 12 volt up there and it's all tidy because all the wires are are wrapped up around the back so it uh, looks neat as well which i'm a bit like that uh storage uh just went and fetched some uh, storage boxes that fit up there they are fairly big actually uh you probably don't get the uh, impact of the size of these things i'll put my hand by it and you'll soon see uh they're, they're very large um big boxes uh i'll keep uh, some hats in that one um and then in that one, I'd probably keep my uh, my socks, underpants, and stuff like that, you know. Um, and and because they, they click, uh, they ain't gonna fall on my head up there. Uh, it's quite nit natty off uh, eBay. That just hooks over there. I've uh, got some uh, uh, charging cables. A box here with all the uh, bits of wires in, some lighting. Um, there's Karen's storage boxes over there again. Her hats are in there. There's a hat in there, which she'll probably keep her uh, her underclothes in, in one of those when we go away for a while. The uh, the heating pump and hot water pump underneath there. We've got a hundred and I think it's a hundred liter uh, water storage tank underneath that one. Uh, under this one, there is a bit of storage that's available to me, and you can access it from outside. Uh, I'll just uh, lift that up, you can see. And there's a there's a door that also. Like I say, you can get to from the outside. I've got all my electric controls in there and stuff. You can see I've got bits and pieces in there. Lots of room. Uh, the door's got a, a bin on it, which is good. And there's another useful one of those pockets. I'll put a fire extinguisher there. The little extra I put in, a little tea towel uh, holder there, which you can just press it in when, you, uh, when you're camped up. Uh, just above the cab, I didn't uh, point out that there are. there's also some storage here, look. Sunglasses, uh, there you go. And uh, we brought one of them, that was off eBay as well, just a tissue holder that uh, pushes onto the uh, sun visor. 
Um, so yeah, this is perfectly adequate for us, this van is. We love it. Um, as far as the inside's concerned, I think that's a wrap. Um, showed you how the bed worked, showed you how the table worked. Um, the only thing I've got to do now is give it all a right good clean um, for our next trip.